All right, now we're gonna create in Tableau the waterfall charts. It's very useful in order to show the flow of the process of your data and as well to show the analysis of part to whole. So let's see how we can create that. First, we need a dimension like the subcategories. Let's move it to the columns and then we need a measure. This time, let's take the profit, drag and drop it to the rows and then let's change it from standard to entire view. So now in order to have a waterfall inside our view, we need the running total. In order to do that, let's go to the profit over here, right click on it and let's do a quick table calculations and let's switch it to running total. So with that you can see we have now a running total of our data, but still it is not a waterfall. So in order to do that, we have to switch it from the classic bars. So let's go to the marks over here to the Gantt bars. All right, so with that, we got the basics for our waterfall, but now the size of each line gonna depend on the profits. So let's go again and grab the profit to the size. But now if you check it closely, we can see that those bars are not making the waterfall because they are in the opposite direction. We would like it to be starting from zero, from the bottom to top. So in order to make this effect, let's go to the sum of profit over here, double click on it and then let's make it as a minus so click on that and now exactly we got what we want so it starts from the bottom to up and with that we are forming the shape of waterfall so now we have to add some coloring so let's go and get the profit put it on the colors and now what we want to do with the colors if the numbers are positive then it's going to stay blue but if it's negative it should be red so in order to do that let's go to the colors and edit colors and now we're going to do the following setup. So let's go over here and make it only two steps. And then let's go to advance over here and make sure that everything in the center. So it is zero over here and that's it. So let's go and hit OK. And with that, we can see very easily where are the negative values in our waterfall and where are the positive values. You can, of course, make it as green and red. So now the last thing that we have to add to our waterfall is the total. In order to do that, it's really simple. Let's go to the analyzes on the main menu and then we go to the totals over here and let's add show row grand totals. So by doing that, we get our total on the right side. And with that, we get a perfect waterfall charts in Tableau.